This video will demonstrate how to perform a secondary auto count search within Live Count. To begin, launch the drawing canvas and then click the auto count button on the top toolbar. This video will assume that you have already completed a primary auto count search. My primary auto count search was created by searching for this area below this D1 element. To perform a secondary auto count search, open up your primary search results and then select one of the results that you wish to search on and then click the magnifying glass icon. You will be returned to the canvas where you can proceed to box in the area that you wish to use for your secondary search. Define a name, a confidence, and a rotation. A lower confidence value will return more results with less accuracy, whereas a higher confidence value will return fewer results with greater accuracy. You may also define the rotation of the area you have defined, original, search in 90 degree rotations, as well as custom rotations, which allows you the greatest control by defining a start and end degree, as well as an interval within that range, you will see that your rotation results are updated accordingly. For this example, I will choose original rotation. If you are unsatisfied with the search area for your secondary search, click Edit Selection, which will return you to the canvas and allow you to redefine your secondary search area. Once you have defined the parameters, click the search button, at which point the secondary search will be added under your primary search. The progress spinner will be present until the results are returned. Once the search has been completed, to review the results, click on the search name or the search count. You will be displayed with a grid where you can review the results. To deselect search results, simply click each grid item. To re-enable, select them again. Or you may use the confidence slider to quickly deselect items which fall below a threshold. In this example, I have the confidence level set to 97%. So any search result which falls below that confidence level is deselected, while search results above that confidence level remain selected. To draw your results, you can select the layer and style that you wish to use, and then click Draw and Continue which updates the grid and keeps you on this review panel, or draw and close, which will draw the results and then return you to the canvas. If you wish to visually review your secondary search results, click Review on Drawing, which will return you to the drawing canvas. Results shown in red indicate that the point has not been selected and will not be drawn. By clicking the annotation, you can change its state from red to green, which indicates that the result has been selected and will be drawn. To deselect results that you do not wish to be drawn, click the green circle to turn its state back to red. Annotations which are shown in yellow indicate that a point exists at this location. 
You will notice that if you attempt to click these annotations, it does not change to either red or green. This is by design so duplicate points cannot be placed at the same location. As you review your drawing, you may see that based on your search parameters, elements may not have been contained in your initial search results. By clicking on Add Miss Symbols, you'll be placed in a mode where you can add additional search results to your secondary count. So in this example, I'm going to add this D1 along with these three AG elements. On deactivation of Add Miss Symbol Points mode, you will see that four symbol points have been added to our search result count. By returning to the review and grid, you will see that the three AG elements have been added. Returning to review on drawing, you can click draw and continue, which will place those points based on the layer and style selected and then update the review annotations to yellow. By selecting draw and close, points are placed and you are closed out of the results review dialog.